Welcome to the Impact Zoomcast. That's what we're calling it until we come up with a better name. I'm Ed Kirchstopper, Chief Operating Officer, Mayo Performing Arts Center. Joining us today are Katie Dempsey and Dan Fenelon, our masterminds behind our upcoming Theater of Light on Sunday, November 12th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. over at the Vail Mansion Lawn, which is adjacent to the theater here. Dan and Katie, welcome to see you. Thank oh, you. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you see, you have some of your friends behind you as well. <laughs> yes, our friends. <laughs> tell us, tell us a little about the event that's coming up this Sunday, November twelfth. Okay, uh, well, I'll start, and Dan just you sure. know chime in whenever. Mm -hmm. um, the name of the event is the Theater of Light, and this is the fourth year that we'll be uh, doing the Theater of Light. Um, like most of the events that Dan and I kind of create. It starts with an idea or just a thought and manifests into what it is now. And actually the whole concept behind Theater of Light was um, as it's connected and sponsored and uh, really an event through um, Mayo Performing Arts, Arts and Community events, I wanted to keep with the theme of theater and just kind of continue with the theater and call this the Theater of Light. The theater of light is basically um, the concept that light is something that is represented in most cultures as a positive, um, uplifting concept. So um, it really kind of runs through every culture. There's always a, a, something, or when people speak about light, they speak about something uplifting. Um, so this is theater of light is a celebration of that light in every culture, throughout every culture. Yeah, and um, our mission is to go out into the community and get the community to engage in the process of um, making um, the props for the event. So one of the things we do are we do these um, star making workshops. Okay, so we've been um, to Cornerstone Adult Daycare Center. We've been to the Neighborhood House. Um, we've had public workshops here, the Morristown Library. We go into schools and we work with um, the populate different populations to create these stars, and they're all hand cut, and um, then people decorate them, and then they get displayed throughout the event. And about how many organizations have you worked with this year, and about how many stars have been made? And um, I think we've worked probably with about seven or yeah. eight. I think it's seven. Uh, organizations ranging from senior citizens two little ones, five, six years old. Um, and I'd say probably in total, we have over five, 600 stars now. Yes. Uh, we've probably made about 150 stars this year alone. So every year we, we keep gathering the stars so that every year the event is richer and deeper in many ways, not just, you know, visually, but also, the amount of people that have helped build this visual installation grows. The event is Theater of Light. It's Sunday, November 12th with Katie Dempsey and Dan Fenelon. Katie is also MPAC's Community Engagement Director. She puts together our Arts in the Community program. And the event is sponsored by ADP. And we have special thanks to the Marstown Cultural District and the town of Marstown and, and your company, Core Creative, who's kind of the masterminds or evil geniuses behind it, however, <laughs> interpret it. <laughs> so, uh, so what happens? Somebody comes here at five o'clock in the evening. What what are they going to see? Are they going to be able to participate in something? Is it more kind of a passive thing for uh, someone who comes to this event? Um, well, I think one of the things that Dan and I always feel very strongly about when we're doing any kind of event is community engagement in, in the real sense of the word, where we always want to have something that people can actually participate and do while they're at the event. Yeah. So yeah, interactivity is important yes. to um the pro to the event. So this year um we created um a, a special guest at the event, um Ellie the elephant. And we're going to have um, a henna tattoo artist is going to decorate the elephant while people are um, putting their intentions for the year on the actual sculpture itself. Yes. 
Now, I will put up a picture of this elephant. Uh, this is not <laughs> an elephant. This is a rather large elephant who's who's uh, who's been seen in a seen around Marstown. Yeah, I, I mean, last I heard, Ellie had gotten off the train in Marstown, coming from a far off land, and then Ellie was very thirsty when she got off the the train that night, and she heard there was a brewery right across the street. So she walked across the street and found Greenbrook Brewery. And she had a few. And she had a couple of. The uh, blood alcohol level on an elephant. Ah, yes. She was walking. There was no. Uh, right. And then she meandered up Mar Street and, and heard all about the historic significance of the town and wanted to see for herself the sculptures on the green in Marstown. And she had a few words with some of the um, George Washington and some of his friends and on Lafayette, the Lafayette, Lafayette Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. And kind of got a feeling. Alexander Hamilton. Oh, that. right. Oh, <laughs> Jefferson? I'm sorry. My, my son would be first to correct you there. So. Okay. <laughs> the henna artist is just the same artist that we had at the uh, DJ Arjun events, Arts in the Community Summer events. Yes. Or... Yes, it's Dara. And she's mm -hmm. absolutely a fantastic henna tattoo artist. Um, so we wanted to engage her again this year. <clears throat> she she took one of or two of the ears home to practice what type of ink she would be using the night of. Mm -hmm. So um, as you had asked, once people come into the event, the first thing they're going to see is we have a professional lighting company that we have engaged and hired to do really dramatic lighting throughout the whole plaza on um, the Vail Plaza, as well as the lawn this year closest to MPAC. Because we had so many people last year, we really wanted people to have room. Um, we also have a DJ who will be playing dance music, Bollywood music, he'll be doing world music, he'll be doing Latin music, he'll be playing hip hop music. That's DJ, DJ Arjun. DJ Arjun. Was at the arts in the community event over the summer, a very popular event. He was great. Yes, he's yeah. awesome. So there is plenty of opportunity. The lawn is is large for people to dance, for kids to dance. We also have some really exciting crafts this year, kind of in keeping in in, in line with the magical kind of light theme. Uh, we have our craft this year is going to be crown making. So we have these beautiful paper crowns <clears throat> that I won't get one because I don't want to give it away. <laughs> um, that students will be, um, that children will be decorating and uh, there'll be lights on them. After they finish decorate them, decorating them, they'll be able to turn on the light and they'll be running around or walking around with actual crowns on their heads that have lights. Uh, and as Dan had mentioned, we will also have ribbons where parents and, and anyone there can write good wishes and tie them onto Ellie the Elephant to decorate her. So we will all be decorating Ellie the Elephant that night. And there's plenty of room and plenty of opportunity to really make her a spectacular um, oh, yeah. sort of icon of the event. And can people go to the Marstown Library right now and and write those yes. ribbons so that they can? Yeah, we, we have a comet over there. So um, the, the comet has uh, little stars that you can write your uh, wishes for the year for this the coming year, mm -hmm. and you can uh, put it on the comet. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. been up there for a few weeks now and continues to be there. Um, over at the library, we have little cardboard stars that you can write on and hang it on the comet. So. Really, the whole feeling about the event is not just celebrating life, and as I mentioned, you know, the positive nature of what light represents, but really giving everybody an individual opportunity to just kind of write their wishes somewhere, somehow, so that they feel like they're personally connected to the event and really kind of making that, um, you know, that become something that is tactile yeah and they can see it they'll see it hanging on the elephant they'll see it hanging on the uh comet 
Mm -hmm. And you also have new this year an ice sculptor, correct? Can you talk yes. about ice sculptor and uh, and the return of the butterfly dancers, right? Yes, yeah, um, Luxian dancers will be right. there. And our our ice sculptor this year is um, an artist from New York City. Um, it's from Okamoto Studios in New York, a very well known ice sculptor who will be live ice sculpting. Um, so the thing that uh, I'm really excited about um, Okamoto Studios is they don't come up with a, I don't send them a picture of what I want. They come to the event, they look around, they'll see the elements of the event that speak to them and they actually do the carving based on what they're seeing at the event. After they're finished with the carving, the actual ice carving will become a selfie station. They're going to be doing some kind of a frame so that people can stand behind it when it's done and do photographs for their cards or whatever they would like to do. But it's going to be quite spectacular. Mm -hmm. And I know we have entertainment from our own teen performing arts company. Of course. DJ Arjun and um, the Unity Steppers will be back. I'm going to talk about uh, their participation last year and then again this year. Yeah. 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 They're, I mean, they're fantastic. Anybody that's from this area knows of them. Um, we have already done a workshop over at the um, neighborhood house where Dan and Olivia, our community engagement coordinator, and some of uh, Susan Fayola, who helps us a lot, uh, an artist. Uh, helps decorate what they'll be wearing that night. So the steppers will, you'll have to come and see what they're wearing because they designed and made the outfits themselves. Um, we have the Fluxian butterfly dancers and we also have the added addition of an LED juggler this year. So that's going to be exciting. And it wouldn't be an event without our oh, PAS students. Bob sculpture. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have a special secret sculpture that oh. we're not, not going to talk about. Breaking news. <laughs> right, breaking news. You'll have to see, yeah, that see one, it have to, to believe see it. it to believe you want to wanna talk about uh, your friends? Not not the people puppets. walking behind us here. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is on yeah, friends yeah, these are our giant puppets. Here. So, um, yeah, we made the, Katie made this giant puppet. This is uh, some masks that I made that um, we'll be carrying around the event and uh, they'll, they'll also be illuminated. Um, they have giant wings that um, the, it takes like three people to operate them and um, yeah, they just fly around the event. So, And then I'm going to show you one of the stars. Oh, yeah, well, here's, uh, yeah, here's some. Yeah, but stars. I like it on the stick. We have a stick. Stars on sticks. We're going to be um, decorating the lawn with these. Okay, <laughs> so it's uh, it's going to be really quite spectacular this year. Right. We try to outdo ourselves each year. Yeah, and, oh, we, and then oh. also, whoa, whoa, whoa. Katie, oh. you're going to talk about it. Which one? The reflecting pot. Oh well, that's okay. a secret. Okay, never mind. So um, we have to leave a little bit to the imagination. That's true. So when you come to the event. You know, it's really the Vale Mansion lawn is is just one of the most beautiful spots, I think, in Marstown. Uh, the mansion itself is historic, but the reflecting pond in front of the mansion, usually it's emptied of water by now, but some secret magic uh, happened. And the Vale Mansion Condo Association, who actually uh, takes care of that property, um, made a special... Um, you know, a, a, a special favor to Ellie the a elephant. A dispensation. A dispensation because they heard Ellie was coming and there will be water in the pond. And this year the pond will be utilized as part of the installation. So I'm, I'm not going to give away everything, but trust me, it will be absolutely spectacular for you to see. Um, and again, there's going to be crafts for kids. There's going to be you'll be able to watch live ice sculpting. There'll be dancing. Uh, there'll be uh, singing by the wonderful um, Mayo Performing Arts Hot students. Chocolate. And the concessions will be opened over at the theater. So they'll be selling hot chocolate and hot coffee. And star cookies will be on sale from the Artist Bakery and hot pretzels. So- And it looks like we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna have good weather. I'm, I'm watching the forecast. 
So we're keeping our fingers crossed for that. <laughs> but if it's not good weather, we're going to have it for everybody, month. Dan. Come on. <laughs> I, there's going to be um, it's going to be called that St. Peter's. Uh, I know it's it's um, it's about a three hour event. If someone comes, if somebody comes by and they they want to get a good uh, sense of everything that's happening, um, do they need to be there for the whole three hours? Or what? No. no, no, no. They can, you know, no. I mean. They can come and go, like if you want to come and see Ellie the Elephant, go grab uh, something to eat somewhere in town and come back or go into the theater and take a break and get warmed up yeah. uh, and have some hot chalk and coffee and use the facilities and then come back. It's going to be an ongoing event. However, we do have a program and a schedule. So when you arrive, there'll be an MPAC information tent set up. Uh, which will be manned by some of our marketing people and some volunteers. You'll get a little program that kind of gives you the time. So if you say, well, I want to come back and see the steppers, you'll know what time they're coming. And we on. have uh, DJ John's going to be, I mean, uh, MC John. Yes. Be there too. So he'll be, he'll be emceeing the event. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, um, one of the things that I think is the most important thing about these events is it really brings our community together and um just the experience it's just when people experience something similar and they're part of it i really do believe it creates a sense of community in people so they look around and they say oh my goodness this is my community here i am with my parents my children my friends I'm seeing this beautiful installation right here in downtown. I'm hearing music. I'm participating. Our kids made stars at school or my parents made stars at the senior center. And when they see an experience, it's an experience. It, it's more than just an event where you come and watch passively. We hope and our intention is that everyone actually comes away with an experience that is uplifting. That, that's terrific. I know you guys have put so much time and creativity and effort into making this a really special evening. And <laughs> hope you get a chance to come out to the Theater of Lights. It is Sunday, November 12th from 5 to 8 p.m. over at the Vail Mansion Lawn. And uh, it's going to be a great event. It's our fourth annual one. Uh, and uh, bigger and bolder and <laughs> top it next year. I don't know what you're going to do with all those odd puppets and everything afterward. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have a home for them. Oh, yeah. Is there is the is there a nice place for the elephant or? You know? Oh yes, we we have a special home now. Okay. And it's and it's temperature controlled, so they are all going to go to sleep and they're going to wake up again next year. So um, we're going to feed them well, and then we're going to put them for a nap until next year's theater of light. <laughs> and once the schedule is finalized, we will have that information up on the MPAC website, mayoarts.org. So you can find that information out in advance. We hope you can make it out. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We uh, uh, we, uh, we look forward to uh, the event on Sunday and everybody you can make it out theater of light. Tell your friends last year, we had about a thousand to 1500 people uh, mm -hmm. sample the event. So uh, we're hoping we have just as many, even more. It's gonna be a great night. Thanks again for coming on. Thank you hey, so much, Ed.